Along the coast on the island of Sodor runs a small branch line at the engines called the Little Western. Named after the Duck and Oliver, who were both great Western and proud of it. The Little Western was very busy in the summertime, as holidaymakers used the branch line to travel to the many seaside villages and beaches. Duck and Oliver loved the summer excitement and happily ran up and down the coastline taking their passengers wherever they wanted to go. But now, autumn was approaching, which meant that there were fewer holiday makers and fewer trains to the seaside. It's nice to have a chance to rest our wheels, Duck said one afternoon. Oliver agreed, but he also felt that the end of summer was a little bittersweet. It hadn't been long since Douglas had helped Oliver escape from scrap, and he had been enjoying his first summer on Sodor immensely. I'll miss the enthusiasts, and the warm sea air, Oliver said sadly. They reminded me of how wonderful it is to be a free engine again. I understand, Duck sympathised. You spent a long time hiding in that cold, damp yard on the other railway. If Douglas hadn't thrown me there, we would have been scrapped for sure. Toad, the brake man, agreed. Oh, I shudder to think about it, Mr. Oliver. But we've been very happy here. Oh, yes, Oliver concurred. When all the branch lines closed back home, we didn't know what to do. But now Sodor feels like home. I'm glad to hear you say that, said Duck. You certainly fit in well, and the passengers adore you. Yes, it's been nice to see happy faces instead of the mean scows of the diesels. You're safe here, Oliver. And remember, we'll always have passengers, and there's always next summer. This made Oliver feel much better. Later that day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see the two engines. Though the busy summer season is coming to a close, we do have an important visitor coming on holiday to the island. Duck and Oliver were intrigued. He's an old friend of mine. He works as the controller for the other railway. Oliver stiffened. He hadn't thought about the control of the other railway since his rescue. He and Douglas had pretended that he was being taken for scrap to escape the other railway. Oliver was afraid that if the controller came, he might discover that one of his engines had been taken under his nose. Oliver, I'd like you to take him to the coastal cottages when he arrives tomorrow. Oliver's colours drained with the news, but he mustered a weak, thank you sir, and Sir Topham Hatt went back to his car. Oliver, are you okay? Duck inquired. He could see fear in Oliver's face. Duck had never seen Oliver react this way before, but then he understood. Oliver, I can take the train tomorrow if it's going to be too difficult for you, offered Duck. Thank you, Duck, but it's already been arranged. We don't have to tell Sir Topham Hat, Duck replied, smiling. I'll tell you what, you take my trucks tomorrow, and I'll take the special train. One engine for another. Oliver thought for a moment, and agreed with the new plan. Their drivers made the arrangements with the station master, who sympathised with the situation. The next day, Duck set out with the coaches to pick up the controller, and Oliver left the station with Duck's goods train. When Duck arrived, the controller was surprised to see him. I'm pleased to meet you, but you're not Oliver, are you? Uh-oh, Duck thought. They'll know we changed the schedule. Duck knew that they might get in trouble, but he also knew that Oliver was afraid that he might be sent back to the other railway. No matter, continued the controller. I just wanted to meet Oliver. He's a very famous engine, you know. Famous? Duck asked. Yes. The harrowing tale of his escape has been all over the news. I've always been a proponent of steam preservation, and I'm glad he found a home here. Duck sighed in relief. Beg pardon, sir, but Oliver was afraid that you were coming to take him back to the other railway. No, not at all. I am glad he is safe. When I heard that he had come to the island of Sodor, I knew I needed to meet this impressive engine. 
I'm sure that Oliver would appreciate hearing this from you, Duck said. Oliver was shunting trucks in the yard when Duck approached with the controller's coaches in tow. Oliver was so shocked that he accidentally bumped one of his trucks into the buffers. Duck, what are you doing here? He said. To bring a special visitor to meet a famous engine, Duck replied, smiling. A f famous engine? Oliver was thoroughly confused. Out stepped the controller from the other railway. Oliver was guarded at first, but the controller greeted him so warmly that Oliver was disarmed. Oliver, how good it is to meet you, said the controller, and explained what he had told Duck earlier that day. Th thank you, sir. I had no idea, Oliver replied, flabbergasted. You certainly are an impressive engine, Oliver, and I commend your heroism. I've told my diesels that if they ever badger a steam engine again, that they'll be punished. Oliver simply beamed. From then on, Oliver had a renewed sense of purpose. While the scrapyard is still difficult for him to think about, Oliver now feels happy in his work year-round, because he knows that even those he thought were against him are cheering for him from far away.